Hi everyone, welcome, and today I'm going to show you how to use polygon textures inside of Keyshot. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is go up here to Edit, Add Geometry, and put a sphere into my scene. Next, I want to provide some sufficient lighting because this is going to be a highly reflective material. So, I'll go over here to the Environment tab and double-click this HDRI map. Okay, now that our object and scene are loaded, I'm going to double-click my object, and then that's going to open up the settings for the material. I want to change my default material type from Diffuse to Advanced, and that's just going to open up a bunch of options. Now I'm going to start loading in my maps, so if you click the icon next to each channel, I'll load them in so the color goes into Diffuse. And you'll notice that the, uh, the mapping is kind of messed up right now, and that's just because we need to change the mapping type from Box to UV. Right? And it's also a bit stretched right now, so the way to fix that, depending on your model, is just to change the UV coordinates. However, if it's already set up correctly, then you don't need to do that, but I'll set it to value of 0 0.5, and there we go. So that should be sufficient for this material. Going back to properties, I'll load in my other maps. So specular, we want to load in reflections, and then roughness. We load our gloss map in. And then the last one, we're going to load in our bump, which is going to be our normal map. So I'll just double click this, bring in our normal. Now at the moment in Keyshot, we can't use 16-bit TIFF files. So we'll just have to stick with JPEGs until they implement that functionality. And now that the normal is loaded in, we actually have to tell the program that it is a normal file. So scrolling down here, say normal map, and there we go. So you'll notice at the moment that the sphere isn't looking very impressive, and that's because we need to adjust a few things. So going back to properties here, depending on the version that you're using, whether it's HD or Pro, the workflow is going to be a bit different. However, since I'm demonstrating the pro version here, we're going to be utilizing the material graph. So I'll just click this and you'll see everything is already plugged in. And now we just need to add a couple of extra nodes in here in order to make everything look correct. So I'll just move this over a bit. Right click the screen, go down to utilities, and we want to add a color invert. And since we're going to be inverting both the reflection and gloss maps, I'll add two in here. Okay, so I'm going to take my output for the reflection, drag it here to color invert, and then take this and plug it into specular. And now that is inverting this. And I'll do the same for the gloss. And then the gloss plugs into the roughness here. Okay. Now we're seeing it's appearing correctly. And just for the moment, so that we can see the material a little more clearly, I'm going to disable the color. So I'll just select this line here, delete it. And I'm going to change the color from blue to black. There we go. So we can see it much more clearly now. However, uh, the problem at the moment is that the normals aren't looking correct. And that's because we need to make another adjustment. So. Going back to textures, I'm going to click on my normal map. Now the way the Keyshot works is that its normals are, are essentially flipped in a different direction than most 3D programs. And so if I change this number to, let's say, 3, you can see the tiles are actually going inwards here, like they're not popping out. And that's because we essentially need to invert the values. Now at the moment, Keyshot doesn't allow us to flip the X or the Y channels. However, there is a trick around this. If I simply go here to bump height and set it to a negative value, so negative three, there, now you'll see that the tiles are popping out now and it's looking correct. All right, great. Now, another thing I'll note is that for the inversion of the maps right here, unless you have the pro version of Keyshot, you're not going to be able to take advantage of these nodes here that invert the map type. So the process is going to be a little more manual. So if you go over here to a program like Photoshop, what you're going to have to do is take the gloss and reflection maps 
and then simply invert each of them and then save them. And then once they load back into Keyshot, it'll be correct. All right, now that I've got that, I'm just going to reconnect my color. So going up here, I'm gonna plug this back into Diffuse. And there we go. So I'll just close this down. We don't need this anymore. Now the textures are all working correctly in this material. And if you wanna make some further adjustments, you can affect the Fresnel. So with making sure that Fresnel is enabled, if you adjust the refraction index, you can essentially change how shiny it is. So by dragging it down, it's becoming more dull and dragging it up, it's becoming much more shiny. So that's it for Material Basics. And if you want to learn how to do surface imperfections, watch part two.